Hello, hi, this is uh, Apostle Deanna Dixon. Praise God, praise God. I pray that you are having a blessed day today. I wanted to get up on here before I proceed to work. Um, I just wanted you all to know that God said that this is going to be a hard season of testing. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. God says that this is going to be a hard season of testing, but stay faithful, stay strong, stay prayerful, stay, stay in the race. A lot of people, when things, you know, come on, somebody, let's be, let's talk here for a moment. When things get a little bit turbulent, or let's let's say things happen, God allow things, because you have to understand and be mindful of this. Nothing just happens. God is always working. Oh, come on, somebody, Romans eight twenty eight, and I want you to hear me this morning. All things work together for those that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. I want you to understand one word today, purpose. Everything is for a purpose. Even when you don't understand it, it's a purpose. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So in this season, don't you dare give up. Get better. Oh, come on, somebody. Don't get bitter. Get better. In this season, write your journal. In this season, be excellent. In this season, Push through. In this season, birth what you told God you wanted. In this season, I don't care if you got to do with tears, fears, and it does not matter how many years that you have been in lack or whatever the case may be. Because when I say that God says that this is going to be a hard season of testing, you have to understand what kind of testing I'm talking about. Testing of your character. Tenacity. Come on, somebody. Have you ever wanted something so bad? Oh, come on, somebody. I'm not talking about just a job, a house, a car, a man, or a woman. Have you ever saw it right before your eyes? And you say, God, I don't know how I'm going to do it. God, I don't know if I have the strength to do it. But God. Let me tell you something. Everybody in that Bible, every character, and, and hold on, it was just a character. That's our brothers and sisters. I don't think y'all understand how deep that Bible is. That is our kinmen. That is our fathers, forefathers. That is our mothers in the spirit. They they, they struggled, but they survived. They struggled, but they stayed faithful. They struggled, but they stayed. They stayed with God. They didn't. They didn't turn to the left. They didn't turn to the right. Oh yeah, they they they, they fell sometimes. Oh come on, somebody, hallelujah for the power of God. They fell sometimes. They, they came up short. They did some stuff, but don't we? Oh come on, somebody. I'm I'm talking this morning. Hallelujah. Only the ones that are not clear thinkers. You have to have clarity in this season like never before. You see, I'm going to tell you what's wrong with the body of Christ. The, the, uh, the, the enemy that came in and got everybody busy, 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 busy. Honey, you better take time out of your schedule. I don't care if you got Because let me be honest with you. Most working for success, money, fame, work for God. And there is a difference between a job and work. Work for God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Stay with God. Stay on the course. Stay on the assignment. What am I saying? Everything is an assignment. It's not just a job. Everything is an assignment. You don't know who you're supposed to touch. But in your touching, God going to touch you. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So you, you have to stay girded. How do you stay girded, apostle? You got to know your God. You got to spend. Let me tell you something. Don't get it twisted. And most of you that follow me, you know that right now I'm um, part owner. I just got part owner in this restaurant. And it's a lot of work. I mean, it's a lot. I have to be there. As a matter of fact, I've been there from morning to night. Haven't had time to get on here. And, and this morning I said, hold on. I had to back myself up. I said, hold on. Give glory to God because I heard God say, I want you to encourage my people. I stopped dating my truck. supposed to be there at 9. It's by 5 to 9. This comes first. Hallelujah. Y'all ain't ready for me. Stay with God. When things seem to be turbulent and it gets too much for you, pull back and pray and say, God, I need you. God, I thank you. God, I hear you. God, I trust you. God, I love you. Hallelujah. That's what this is about. Don't ever let anything get between you and God. I don't care how big. I don't care who. I don't care what. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And I got to say something, too. For you arrogant ones, stop that. Because you and I both know everybody got some ugly points. Everybody got some ugly sides. Everybody got some flaws. I can't stand arrogant people. Yeah, I said it just like I said it because that's a spirit. Who are you that you think you above everybody? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Jesus never act like that, never talk like that, never walk like that. Hallelujah. He had compassion. I don't know why I, I did that. So for anybody 
that's on here. Don't you ever let a person make you feel that you are unworthy, that you are not good enough, that they are better than you, because you can be anything that God have called you to be. Hallelujah. He said, I take the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. I am living proof. Hallelujah. Y'all know I'm a country girl. Hallelujah. From Abbeville, Louisiana. And the stuff I didn't did, how I didn't did, why I didn't did, when I didn't did it, should have been dead. But God, hallelujah to his name. You can be and do anything that you want to do. I don't know who that's for that's pulling on me. You can have anything you want. Oh, yeah, you're going to have to do some work. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're going to have to struggle sometime. You're going to have to be faithful. You're going to have to hang in there when everybody said that you can't. And trust God. Trust God. Believe in God. Hallelujah. But you got to do your part. And this is how you stay. This is how you make it. Through the tough times, through the painful times, through the times you feel alone, defeated, or uh, anything. That's a spirit. You got to stay with God. God, I know if you brought me to it, you'll bring me through it. God, I know you're not going to leave me. God, I know this is a test. And there are some times that when there be a season of hard testing that you will feel like God is not even with you. That you feel like you are missing it. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. God is always quiet while the student is in test mode. Oh, come on, somebody, I just said something. Because some of you, you, well, God, you left me. No, 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 no. He, he just, He's just sitting back watching how you're going to do what you do when you do what you do. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Nothing just happens. Everything is assignment. But now here's the deal. Quit trying to stop. Stop trying to get God to do your thing. God has a plan for your will. And you have to ask God, God, what is your will? Because God will allow your permissive will. That means that, guess what? I'm going to let you do that, even though it's not my will. You want to be in God's will. I used to do that, and I, I, I'm just very transparent on purpose. I used to do that all the time. Just just, just keep going. Now, I'm calculated. God, if this ain't you, don't let it form. Hallelujah. Don't hit me. Don't let it wake me up in the middle of the night. Uh, hallelujah. Stop me in my tracks, whatever it takes. You say, I used to pray, if it ain't God, can it be God? No, no, no. You don't have time to play games. You don't have time to go around the mountain, children of Israel, for 40 years. You don't have time for that. Hallelujah. Some of you tired anyway. So I suggest get with God. God, what is your plan? What is your purpose? I keep hearing that word purpose. Everything is a purpose. God has called you for such a time as this. Yeah, you may have to go through a little something, something. But I'm going to tell you right now, Jesus did first. And he told us how we can do it. He said, I, I, I only say what I hear my father say. I only do what my father said to do. Hallelujah. That's how you're going to make it through. And then stay connected to powerful praying people. Quit messing with Joe Blows and Sally Mays. Yeah, I said how I said what I said. And, and I got to say this. Some of you are trying to be connected to people. And they're not giving you the time of day. And when that happens, it makes you feel like, oh, I'm not good enough or, or this or that. Can I tell you something? God did that. God stopped that. Come on. God stopped that. Because what looks good on the outside, oh, hallelujah. You don't know what they're doing, how they do what they do. God see what you don't see. God know what you don't know. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. That's why God first. You don't hear what I'm saying. God first. I'm going to say it again. God first. I have put in my mind, and, and, I, and I'm about to say something that's going to blow some of your mind. I'm not trying to be arrogant. I know God didn't put a, uh, th this, this, this restaurant have the potential of $2 million, maybe more a year. But I can promise you, I sit here and y'all can bring this live right back before me. Nothing is coming before me and my God. I don't care what nobody say, how they say it, when they say it, because God has been too good to you and too good to me. Hallelujah. So I don't care what the devil does. I don't care what come before you. I don't care how great it is, how least it is. Don't you ever stop putting put anything before God. He has to get the glory, hallelujah, in every capacity of your life. Like yesterday in the restaurant, oh, and they looked at me crazy. Mm -hmm, that this girl come up in here and... um. She was just hurting. And so I didn't say anything at first, but I felt it. So she sat by me, and then she just started crying. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I, I go to work with this. I wish somebody would say something. I took that all out right in the middle of the dining room and prayed for her. What? Nobody playing? Look, look, you, you understand? Yes, yes, yes. I know I got I know, I know. Got business. But God's business. And I think... That that's why I'm on here this morning. Too many. You're forgetting God. Don't forget God. 
We need him every fiber. God, how do I do this? God, God, please help me do this. God, stay with me while I do this. God, go before me while I'm doing it. Y'all don't hear me. Without God, you can do nothing. As a matter of fact, the Bible says, except you build, if except God build it, do you build in vain? Now, unless you just foolish, can't build nothing without God. Hallelujah to his name. All right, but let me go. Shoot, Chef Ray gonna gonna be on my um on my video talking about that. That's why she ain't here. She she on Facebook doing a lot. And you know what I'ma say? But God, <laughs> y'all know I'm still crazy, but in a good way. All right, you guys, I love you. I love you. I love you. I miss you all. I'll be doing my lives. Oh, trust me. He pressed it on me this morning. I already knew what time it was. So God bless you. I pray prosperity over every last one of you. I pray favor. This is a season. Let me tell you something. There's a transfer of wealth. There's a transfer of wealth. There's a transfer of wealth. And y'all know I'm not about money. This is I'm telling you, but this is the season. I'm not stupid. Hallelujah. I know God is God is trying to give his people something. But you're gonna have to go through a little something, something. Come on, somebody, you're gonna have to you have to be here. You're gonna have to be but how can you hear except you quiet? How can you hear unless you're in tune? You can go and move only when God say move. I don't care what nobody say. Hallelujah. All right. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Real will I soldiers for that is who we are. God bless. Let's get it.